sticks bug bombs at a burger joint, raising new concerns tonight for a local fast food chain. Yeah, an employee at an Independence McDonald's says a manager set off bug bombs while the store was still open. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez talked with that employee as the health department now investigates. It's business as usual at the McDonald's in question. Days after one of its managers said he got pesticide poisoning and he's concerned that he may not be the only one. On Wednesday night at 11, William Wayman showed up for his overnight shift as a manager at the Independence McDonald's on 23rd and Sterling. When he walked in, he says he saw the manager before him set up three bug bombs. I seen him setting the foggers, and after he set the foggers, he just immediately walked out the door and left. One by the ice cream machine, another by a trash can near the entrance, and a third by the men's bathroom. Um, I ended up shutting the store down around 11.30 after I contacted poison control and a couple other 24-hour restaurants to see what they thought about the situation and they advised me that it's a health code violation that I need to shut down immediately. But by then it was too late for him. I seen it in the air and then with me being up front where it was at immediately started burning my eyes and I started crying. Wayman says he threw away cups, plasticware straws and napkins that were exposed to the bug bombs before reopening in time for breakfast. He then went to the hospital where doctors told him he had pesticide poisoning. Wayman filed a complaint with the Independence Health Health department. We start the case, we go out, our inspector looks for any violations that they can observe. We contact the complainant, we try to get as much information as we can and follow up as appropriate. 41 Action News found this McDonald's health inspections. Three were done in 2015 and one last year. None of them show a problem with pests, but Wayman says gnats are an issue. In a statement, McDonald's says they're working closely with the employee and health department to address the situation and ensure that safety protocols calls are in place. They added the restaurant was closed at the time the bug bombs were deployed. Wayman says that wasn't the case initially. We did ask the health department if anyone who came here Wednesday night between 11 and 11.30 should be worried about any exposures. They declined to comment, saying that this is still an ongoing investigation. In Independence, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.